Good afternoon, and thanks so much for joining me. I want to give a shout out to Exposing Fraud. That's an excellent channel, and I'm going to put the actual address at the bottom of this uh, video. Also, I want to also thank all the people that have commented. God bless you. I really appreciate it. It's not always easy speaking against somebody. I didn't just do this on a whim. About four to five months ago, as I was watching Lois, uh, because this is about Lois Vocal Sharp, I noticed that there were some discrepancies in some of the doctrine she was saying and just a lot of different, just a lot of different concerns I was noticing. So I had turned it off and I, I decided, oh, I'm not going to watch her because she's not saying things that are actually from the Bible. She's not saying uh, any prophetic messages that are godly. It sounds more like from the flesh more than the Holy Spirit because it's not coming out of the Bible. So, but I had a discernment from the Holy Spirit to go ahead and speak against her. So that's why I'm here today. I do want to let you know that I appreciate you, like I said, the comments and just stopping by today. But one thing I do want to talk about is the Antichrist. She keeps saying that the Antichrist is not going to take over the full earth. But we do have here in Revelations 13, 7, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And the power was given him over all kindreds and all tongues and nations. So when you look up the word all, it's Greek, of course. The word is pesan, and it's every. Now the King James Version does say all, but every is a more accurate word. So where I come from, every means everything, all people, all languages. Where does this come from that the Antichrist is not going to affect the full earth? It is going, he is going to affect the full earth. Now God's Spirit is poured out on the flesh of mankind already because Jesus spoke about that. So that's why a lot of people can hear about the salvation of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had been poured upon the earth, upon all flesh, out of the book of Joel, already. Then people would not have the confirmation of who Jesus Christ is because it has to come from the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior and he came and died for all of mankind. So those are two very important items that she has incorrect. Also, the gold and the silver. She has, she keeps saying, everywhere we're going to go back to the gold and silver. We're going to go back to the gold and the silver. With that being said about going back to the gold and silver, and that God's economy, if we were actually on that, the economy would not have the concerns it has. And this is the world economy, just not the United States, but the world seems to be going through a slowdown. You can look at any economist for that. But the most important thing is, when we go back to when Joseph was second to Pharaoh because God had promoted him. We're going to go back to Genesis 47 verse I believe 15. And the specific saying is money failed in Egypt. And when we look up the Hebrew word money used in that instance, we're going to see that the word for money in Hebrew is silver. So money failed over 6,000 years ago. So, and they were using, quote, God's money system, and there was a failure there, unfortunately. But because Joseph was in place, everything uh, turned out great. We all know how the patriarchs made it there, and God made a wonderful nation, the Israeli nation. So that's something that she did not have any knowledge about, and that's right there in the Bible. She does say that she had over 40 years of experience being a preacher being a prophet but those little things you're going to see through discernment from the Holy Spirit and his wisdom that what she's saying is not adding up and she's still talking about uh, her safe havens and God's got special whole countries and we just went over that are going to be saved from the Antichrist that is not biblical unfortunately ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters it is not biblical and also, she's always talking about love, but she's always talking about you people. She said the last video three times, you people. It's a distance she pushes 
the saints away. It's a distance. And we're all in this together. We're all, all brothers and sisters together through Christ Jesus. And that's the main part. If there's no fruit, there's no love being shown, there's no gentleness, no kindness, where is that? A lot about gifts and fire of the Holy Spirit, but where is the fruit? So I want you to go ahead and watch her, and you're going to start to see the same things that I'm seeing and other people are seeing also. I want to wish you a blessed afternoon, blessed evening, have a great weekend, and as I say, God bless you, and if you don't know Jesus Christ, get to know him because he loves you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.